Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math on Lombard algebra problem. So here we have m square equals to n plus 183 and n square equals to m plus 183 and we solve this problem for the values of m and n. You remember one thing is that m is not equals to n. So here first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. And now here in the first step uh, we need to subtract equation number one with equation number two so when we subtract equation number one with equation number two so uh, it will be written as we subtract m square with n square it is written as m square minus n square and n plus 183 is subtracted by this term this is minus m minus 183 so now in the next step uh, we need to uh, uh, add or subtract the like term so this is positive and negative term are cancelled by each other and here we know about this m square minus so here in the left hand side we will apply the nice algebraic formula you know that m square minus n square equals to m minus n times of m plus n and in the right hand side we have this is n minus m so we move this n minus m in the left hand side and it will be written as in this form this is m minus n times of m plus n so when you move this minus m in the left hand side it will becomes plus m this plus n becomes minus n and this whole equals to zero so now you see here uh, in in this case we have m minus n be the common factor so that we take common m minus n and the remaining terms are m plus n plus 1 equals to 0. So here we divide this equation into the two cases so that the first case is we take m minus n equals to 0 and the second case is we take m plus n plus 1 equals to 0. So here in this case we get m is equals to n but in the start of the problem we say that m is not equals to n so that we rejected this case and we will just proceed here this case only and in this case we move this plus 1 to the right hand side and it will becomes m plus n equals to minus 1 and we call this is our equation number 3 and now here further first we will add equation number 1 and 2 and now uh, first we will subtract equation number 1 and 2 and uh, now here we will add equation number 1 and equation number 2 so that here we add equation number 1 and 2 so uh, in order to add these equations we will add the left hand side with left hand side and right hand side with right hand side it will be written as m square plus n square equals to n plus 183 plus uh, m plus 183 okay so further we have in the next step uh, we rewrite it as m square plus n square equals to m plus n plus this is 183 plus 183 equals to 366 and now from equation number 3 we have m plus n equals to minus 1 we substitute it here it will be written as minus 1 plus 366 it is equals to 365 this is the value of m square plus n square so we call this is our equation number 4 so now here equation number 3 is implies that first we copy down equation number 3 here it is m plus n equals to minus 1 and now we will take the squaring on both of the sides of this equation okay so here in the left hand side we will apply the algebraic formula it will be written as m square plus 2 times of m n plus n square equals to minus 1 square equals to plus 1 and now here we rearrange the terms and it will be written as m square plus n square plus 2 times of m n equals to 1. So here uh, we can use the equation number 4. So from equation number 4 we have m square. The value of m square plus n square is 365 plus this is 2 times of m n equals to 1. So we move this 365 to the right hand side. It will be written as 2 times of m n equals to 1 minus 365 equals to minus 364 okay so uh, now in the next step uh, uh, we have we need to divide both of the sides by 2 so this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get m n equals to here when you cancel the uh, this 2 by this term we will get here 182 
so we get the value of m n equals to minus 182 and we call this is our equation number 5 so now in the next step uh, here uh, we uh, just uh, move this n to the right hand side and it will be written as m equals to minus 182 divided by n we call this is our equation number 5 okay so here uh, we need equation number 3 here so that uh, again equation number 3 is implies that it is m plus n equals to minus 1 and now we will substitute the value of uh, this m here and it will be written as minus 182 divided by n plus n equals to minus 1. Here we will take the LCM of this term and its LCM is n. So this is minus 182 plus n square equals to minus 1. And here we get minus 182 plus n square equals to minus n. So we move uh, the minus n in the left hand side it will be written as n square plus n minus 182 equals to 0. So you see here this equation will become quadratic in n variable so that here we easily make the factors of uh, this quadratic equation uh, so that in order to make the factors of this equation we rewrite it as so now in the next step we rewrite uh, this equation as this is n square plus n minus 182 we write it as 13 multiplied by 14 equals to 0 uh, and now in the next step we break its middle term and we write this n as plus 14 n minus 13 n 14 minus 13 becomes n and this is minus 13 multiplied by 14 equals to 0. So now in the next step here we need to take common n from the first two terms and we get n plus 14 and here we take common minus 13 and we get n plus 14 equals to 0 and now here in uh, both of these factors we take common n plus 14 and we get the remaining term are n minus 13 equals to 0. So now in the next step we have this is n plus 14 equals to 0 and in this case we have n minus 13 equals to 0. So here we easily get the value of n equals to minus 14 and here we get the value of n equals to 13. So these are the two values of n and now here from these two values of n we find the values of m. So for values of m we need here equation number 5. So equation number 5 is implies that m equals to minus 182 over n so now here we uh, substitute these two values of n separately on the below equation so uh, when you put this value here it will be written as m equals to minus 182 divided by n so the value of n is minus 14 and here when you put this value of m it will be written as minus 182 divided by 13 so uh, these are cancelled by each other and 14 by 13 we get 182 so we get m equals to 13 and similarly uh, here this is 13 times of 14 becomes 182 and we get the value of m equals to minus 14 okay so finally we have the solution set of the given equation r uh, the solution set is the value of m is 13 and corresponding value of n is minus 14 and the second solution set is uh, m is minus 14 and n is 13 so this is m and n again this is m and n so these are the two uh, solutions of the given equation this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos